in San Francisco. There's a there's a environmental engineer. Her name is Amy Brunell. Amy Brunell uh, uh, was uh, actually being paid for by Lennar, the developer. There was a contract between the city and county of San Francisco and Lennar, the developer, to hire Amy Brunell as an environmental engineer. Well, first of all, why would a city, a public agency, hire an environmental engineer who actually is paid for by the developer? And what Amy Brunell has been doing is telling the residents of Hunters Point, Bayview, and Treasure Island, and the workers, the city workers, that it is safe. She continues to do that, and she continues to be a city employee. Now, Amy Brunell was a city employee under Gavin Newsom. She worked for Gavin Newsom. Is Gavin Newsom going to talk about why an environmental engineer here in the city and county in San Francisco is paid for by Lennar, the developer? She continues to work for London Breed. Uh, in the city and county of San Francisco. London Breed was involved in Treasure Island where she had a position there. We're saying that these politicians have to be held accountable. Amy Brunell should be fired. There should be a full-scale investigation of the cover-up and the corruption at Hunters Point Bayview and also at Treasure Island. This is an issue for all the people of California, not just the people of San Francisco. As has been reported here, the contaminated material was trucked uh, to Contra Costa and other counties, the illegally contaminated material. So we're talking about a Bay Area crisis where contaminated radioactive material is being trucked throughout the Bay Area without proper inspection without proper controls. This is an issue that needs to be brought up at this uh, gubernatorial hearing. I doubt it will be. That's why we're out here today. Because the issues of health and safety, the issues of contamination, cancer, and the $1 billion eco-fraud at Hunters Point Bayview is an important issue for the people of California. And this has not been uh, addressed by the governor, I, uh, a lieutenant governor who aspires to be governor. Where is Gavin Newsom on the $1 billion eco-fraud? Stop the cover up now! 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 So cover up now. Now, Gavin Newsom uh, and Cox, what is their position on Cal OSHA, as Dr. Rose has said? Uh, there's a, it's a crime in California. There are only 200 inspectors, Cal OSHA inspectors, for 18 and a half million workers in California. Why is that? Workers are being injured and harmed. The workers who are dying at Hunters Point and Treasure Island from contamination, where are their rights? Do they matter? in the state of California? Is this a concern for the uh, Lieutenant Governor or Cox for that matter? And we know that Cox would like to get rid of OSHA as well. He's a supporter of Trump and he wants to destroy uh, all regulatory protection. So uh, frankly, neither of the candidates need, uh, have been addressing this issue. Uh, when there are only 200 inspectors, health and safety inspectors for 18 and a half million workers in California, that's an issue for the uh, gubernatorial debate. I doubt it will come up. When there's a question of a one billion dollar eco fraud in in California at Hunters Point and Treasure Island, that has to be an issue for the debate. And the other issue that we're going to raise is the national silence by the media. Uh, uh, nationally, the mainstream media hasn't talked about the one billion dollar eco fraud at Hunters Point and Treasure Island. Why is that? Why the cover up? I mean, a billion dollars of our taxpayer dollars have gone supposedly to remediate and clean up Treasure Island and Hunters Point, yet it's still contaminated. They're still finding radioactive material at that shipyard. How could that be after spending a billion dollars? I would say that's fraud, yet none of these candidates are addressing that. They're not talking about the fraud and the cover-up. They're not talking about the whistleblowers who retaliated against for putting their jobs on the line, their lives on the line. We're saying this is what has to be addressed at this press conference. And this is not going to go away. Even if Lieutenant Governor Gavin Newsom becomes the governor, he's responsible because he'll be in charge of the Department of Pesticides, the Department of Toxics in California. So we're not going away. We're going to fight to defend the workers. We're going to fight to defend the residents of Hunters Point Shipyard, Bayview, and also Treasure Island. These people have to have a voice. They have to have a voice to protect their lives, their children, their family. And that's exactly what should be on the agenda at this gubernatorial debate.